I just got a postcard from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Jane, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money in credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Bert? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Although, maybe I'd try going to the embassy or consulate to see if they could help me. What about you, Susan? Well, I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Hey, you are driving too fast. Look at the traffic sign. It says the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. Don't be so serious. There are not many people and cars in the street. We will be fine. Hey, look out. Stop the car. Oh, I can't stop it. No. We just hit the man. What shall we do? Let me check out how the man is. Oh, thank God. He is alive. He is injured. Let's take him to the nearest hospital. It is my entire fault. I shouldn't have driven so fast. What is done cannot be undone. Let's go to the hospital first. Mary, how have you been? Josh and I just took a chance on our way home from the beach to see if you were up for visitors. I was just thinking about you yesterday. It's been ages since we had a chance to visit with you. Mary, please let me get the two of you something to drink. Oh, please don't go to any trouble. We just stopped by for a visit. Can I get you a little something to eat? We appreciate the offer, but we already ate. So tell me, how is your family doing? We are all doing well. My dad finally got to retire and is enjoying his leisure time. Excuse me, sir. Yes, may I help you? I'd like you to cash this check for $100, please. Do you have an account with us? No, actually, I'd like to open an account right now. What kind of account would you like to open? A checking account. Please fill in these forms. Can I have your ID card to make a copy? Yes, sure. Here you are. Thanks. Please finish these forms. I'll be right back. Thank you. Did you finish the forms? May I have them back? Yes, here you are. Now how would you like this check cashed, ma'am? Ten tens will be fine. Here you are. I think I may rent this apartment from you. That's great to hear. How much are you looking to rent it for? For each month, you would have to pay a thousand fifty. That is too expensive. I don't think that is too much for rent. How does eight fifty a month sound to you? That's not enough. That's the best that I can do. Eight hundred fifty a month is not enough money. Would you please reconsider? That's my final offer. Take it or leave it. Excuse me, can you tell me how I can get a subway ticket? Go to the auto machine over there. I'm a newcomer here. Can you show me how to use it? Sure. You need two $1 coins. Put them in the slot and click one ticket button on the screen. It's very easy. Okay, but I don't have any coins. Where can I get some? You can change them at the service center. Can they take a $20 bill? I think so, but you need to ask them. Okay, I think I can handle it. Thank you very much. I'm not sure how to add a class. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? I'll bring one next time. When you get the signed ad slip, you must take it to the admissions and records office or you will not be added. Can you find the office? I think I know where it is. Across the courtyard on the right is the office. Follow the signs to the correct line. Is that clear? Thank you for your directions. It's clear. You can't miss it. Add the class and then come back. We'll check later to make sure you are on the roll sheet. That's great. Thank you so much. Do the same thing with a drop slip if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. 
Hi, Kara. This is Mike. Hello, Mike. How are things going for you? Great. How are you? Fine. Everything is just fine. Kara, I had a great time the other night and was wondering if you'd like to go out again this weekend. Mike, I've enjoyed your company, but I am getting ready to graduate soon. I really need to focus on my studies. Maybe I could help you with that. What do you need to get done? Oh, it would be better for me to just deal with getting my work done. But thank you for a lovely dinner. Can you tell me the price for a bus pass? It costs $65 to buy a monthly bus pass. Is there a cheaper bus pass? There are student passes. For how much? It doesn't cost anything for the pass. It's absolutely free? The monthly sticker costs you. How much is that? Each month, it'll cost $24 for a new sticker. Let me get the student bus pass. Let me go get it for you. Can we reschedule the presentation? Again? Why? We aren't ready. We already rescheduled once. This will be the second time. I know, but we're just not ready. You've had two months to prepare for this. I understand that, but we need more time. The clients have been very patient. Please, ask them for one more week. You have one week. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go out and start spending it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Welcome, Ron. Come on in. Hi, Malia. What a nice home. We enjoy it, too. How long have you lived here? About four years now. Well, it is very beautiful. Ron, have a seat, and I'll get us something to drink. Good. I am really thirsty. You know, it is really it is hot outside. I have lemonade, iced tea, and mango juice. Mango juice would be perfect. Thank you. Don't you think it's nice out? Yes, I think so, too. I think that it's going to rain. I hope that it does rain. You like the rain? The sky looks so clear after it rains. I love it. I understand. Rain does make it smell cleaner. I love most how it is at night after it rains. How come? You can see the stars so much more clearly after it rains. I would love for it to rain today. I would too. You're ready, right? Ready for what? Are you ready to transfer tomorrow? Yes, I am ready. You're not nervous. Of course I'm nervous. What are you most nervous about? I won't know anybody at that school. You shouldn't be nervous about that. Why not? Meeting new people is a good thing. That's a good way to think about it. Did you watch the news this morning? No. What happened? There was a chemical explosion at my old office. Did anyone get hurt? I don't know yet. You're lucky you don't work there anymore. I know. The building was so old. Did they evacuate the area? Yeah. The police and fire department are still there. I should call my friend. She lives a couple blocks from there. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a room. Yes, I've got a small room. How much do you charge? $35 a week, but don't allow smoking. Okay. Anything else? Also, you can't have visitors. That's all. No problem. Can I see the room now? Would you mind waiting? I'm on the telephone. Well, take your time. I'll come back in a minute. See you. What can I help you with today? I need to check out this book. Do you have your library card? I don't have one. Would you like to apply for one right now? That's fine. I'm going to need you to fill out the application. All right. All done. All right. Now please sign the back of the card. Okay. I've signed it. That's all there is to it. Great. Now can I check out this book?
This office layout is confusing. I agree. Our clients have a hard time finding the exit and our offices. I know. Bill got lost the other day looking for the restroom. Should we redesign it? That would be a good idea. I don't think we have the budget for it. That's too bad. But we should do something soon. I know. The layout looks like a maze. Are you ready for the English test tomorrow? No, I'm going to fail it. Didn't you study and take notes? My notes will not help me. Why? The teacher speaks too fast. I couldn't write anything down. Why didn't you ask her to speak slowly? I was too embarrassed to tell her I didn't understand. I'll help you study. I have a lot of notes. May I help you? I would like to find this book. Is there a problem? I don't think you guys have it. You should look it up on our computer. I did that. What came up? It should be on the shelf, but I didn't see it. I can try to get the book from a different library. I didn't know you could do that. I will call you when I find it. I appreciate your help. Have you heard my good news? You haven't told me anything yet. I got a promotion at work earlier this week. Is that right? It's the truth. I am really happy. Congra congratulations on your promotion. Thank you very much. I am really excited for you. Are you really? I'm serious. You deserve this promotion. Is that what you really think? Yes, I do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Please convey my best wishes to your parents. Thank you, the same. Are you doing anything special? I'm going to a party tomorrow night. Want to come? Great. I'd like to come. Thank you for inviting me. When will the party start? You are welcome. Around six o'clock. See you then. See you then. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for asking. What may I do for you? I need help with something. What do you need help with? I am looking for a newspaper article. Have you looked in the periodicals? I didn't even think about that. I can show you where they are. That would be a lot of help. Follow me, please. Thank you so much. How's it going? I'm doing well. How about you? Never better, thanks. So, how have you been lately? I've actually been pretty good. You? I'm actually in school right now. Which school do you attend? I'm attending PCC right now. Are you enjoying it there? It's not bad. There are a lot of people there. Good luck with that. Thanks. How may I help you? I want to get a passport. You need to apply for a passport. When can I apply for it? You can apply right now. I'd like to do that. Fill this out, please. What's next? I will need to take your passport picture. When will my passport be ready? It will take about three weeks. That's great. Thank you. You got a letter in the mail! Give it to me! What is it? It's my acceptance letter from UCLA. What does it say? I've been accepted! Are you serious? I'm serious! Good for you! NYU was my first choice? But UCLA is just fine. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud of myself, too. I'd like to return these boots. Is there anything wrong with them? Yes. They are very uncomfortable. I think you've had these for a long time. It looks like you've already worn them a lot. Are you saying I can't return them? We only accept returns on unused items. Where is the manager? I demand a refund now. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. What can I do for you today? I need to return a book. Can I do anything else for you? I want to check these books out. Is that all? 
That's all. May I see your library card, please? It's right here. Will that be all for today? Yes, that's it. These are due back in two weeks. All right, have a good night. Hello? I was just responding to your ad. Which ad is that? The ad for a roommate. Great. Are you interested? I sure am. Can we meet today? Of course. Just tell me when and where. Why don't you meet me at 5.30 at Starbucks? That'll be perfect. We'll discuss the living situation and payments at that time. That'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you then. I'm nervous about this trip. Why? I'm meeting with the CFO. Wow, that would make me nervous too. What should I pack? Well, you should definitely bring your laptop and tablet. I know. What else? Bring a nice suit. I don't own a suit. Well, you better go shopping then. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Tell me about your new car. Is it large? No, it's not. It is small. Tell me about the questions in your English book. Are they difficult? No, they're not. They are easy. Tell me about your new neighbors. Are they quiet? No, they aren't. They are noisy. Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. What are you going to order? I'm going to have a burger. I'm not really hungry. I'm just going to have a salad. You might get hungry later. Then I'll order something to go to. That's a good idea. You always get hungry around midnight. Where is Jane? She is in the living room. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. Hey, Phil, could I borrow some money? Sure. How much do you need? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? That's a lot of money. Why do you need so much? I need to pay the rent. I don't have that much. How about two hundred dollars? Ollie, what's the matter? You look so sleepy. Yeah. Can't you wake up this morning? No, I can't. I can hardly keep my eyes open. I was up late last night. My friend had a party. I only got about four hours of sleep. Why didn't you sleep in this morning? I have to meet my study group at the library. We have a big test next week. A big test? Why didn't you study last night instead of going to the party? Oh, it's okay. I studied a lot before the party. Maybe that's not a good idea. Why not? I read a research study. It said that if you don't get enough sleep after you study, you may forget 30% of what you studied, especially if you studied something that is very complex. 30%? That's almost one third. Yes, that's a lot. Are you sure, Alicia? Yes. Even two days after you study, if you don't get enough sleep, you forget a lot. It's called being sleep deprived. Well, I read that eating right can help you study. You mean what you eat helps you study? Yes, there are chemicals that help you stay alert. I think the best foods are fish, eggs, soy, rice, and peanuts. So you should get enough sleep and eat the right foods. That sounds like good advice. I'll see you two later. Where are you going, Ollie? Home to take a nap. Oh, it's so nice to eat out and have time together. What a great birthday present. I'm glad you like it. I'm always happy to treat you to lunch. And I was thinking, you know, 
We never really have time to just sit and talk. I know. And now we have two hours. And this is a really nice place. Yeah, I come here once in a while. So, what are you going to have? Um, I'm not sure yet. But you order whatever you want. It's your birthday. Whatever I want? Okay. But please don't sing happy birthday when we have dessert. If you do, I'll go under the table. <laughs> You'll never change. Always so shy. Well, that's me. Anyway, I think I'll have the chicken Caesar salad. What are you going to have? The salad sounds good. But I'm going to have soup, too, because I'm really hungry. Where did you go for holiday? Last year, I went to Singapore, a Southeast Asian country. Why did you choose that destination? I love to travel to Asian countries, and Singapore was my best choice because of its beauty and culture. How long did it last? I stayed there for two weeks. Who went with you? I traveled to Singapore with my best friends. How did you travel? We flew there, of course. During the time there, we moved mostly by MRT and taxi. What did you pack up? I only brought some necessary items, such as money, clothes, medicine, a map, and a digital camera. What did you do during the holiday? We visited famous tourist attractions like Marina Bay Sands, Merlion Park, Art Science Museum, Singapore Flyers. We also enjoyed local cuisine there. What's the difference between holidays today and 20 years ago? Well, it has changed a lot. People now can afford holidays outside their countries, while 20 years ago traveling abroad seemed hard. At what time do people in your country usually go on holiday? It depends on what job people have. When they have a break from work, they will find somewhere to travel. Who wrote the letter to you? My dad wrote the letter to me when he was on a business trip. Did you keep the letter? Yes, put it in a folder. Whenever I'm down, reading his letter would be a good way to cheer me up. What was the letter about? He told me about his new workplace and how things were there. How did you feel about the letter? I was glad to know that he was fine in another city. Do you have a letter collection? Yes, I collected all the letters from family and friends. It's one of my hobbies. Do you like writing letters or emails? I prefer writing paper letters. Do people in your country usually write letters? Years ago, they did. Now people prefer emails. What's the difference between emails and handwritten letters? Emails are much more convenient than letters because they're free to send and they get there instantly. However, letters are much more special. Why should we write letters to friends or relatives? It's a good way to show love to people you care about. Where should I park? Do you have a car or a motorbike? I drive a scooter. In that case, you can park either in a student lot or on the street. Are you aware of the marked handicap spots? No, I haven't seen those spots. The handicapped logo with blue means that you are not to park there unless you have a handicapped permit. Will you mostly be parking during the day or the night? I park in the daytime. Make sure you pay special attention to the street signs with time limits. Have you noticed those signs? No, I have not seen the signs. Pay attention to what the signs tell you in terms of time limits and what days you can park there. Do you know what the curb colors mean? No, I don't know what the colors mean. Just remember the red means absolutely no parking and white means loading and unloading only. I think you'll be good to go. Hi, Sylvia. Mark and I are celebrating our one-year anniversary today. Congratulations! What are you going to do? I don't know. Mark says he has a special surprise. What do you think it is? I have no idea. 
Maybe dinner at a nice restaurant? That would be lovely. Yeah, we've both been so busy at work. Our first year of marriage went by very fast. Yes, marriage can go by quickly. How long have you been married? Twenty-five years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, it is. We've had our good and bad times, but we're happy. That's great. I hope Mark and I will celebrate a 25-year anniversary one day. I'm sure you will. I just got a text from Mark. He said to put on a nice dress and dancing shoes. Looks like you're going dancing. That's a huge surprise. Why? Because I love dancing, but Mark hates dancing. What's your favorite item of jewelry? Well, I have quite a lot of ornaments, but my favorite one is a necklace. When did you buy it? Um, I don't remember exactly when, but I guess I bought it years ago. What's it made of? It's made of silver. How does it look? It looks gorgeous with a ruby clover-shaped pendant. Why do you like it? I believe it can bring me good luck in everything I do. What's special about it? I love the vintage style of my necklace. It really goes with my classic dresses. Does it remind you of something? Yes, I spent my first month's salary buying it, so the necklace encourages me to work hard and earn more money every day. How much does it cost? Around $400 if I'm not mistaken. Do you usually wear it? Yes, I just wear it all the time. I'll be missing it if I don't see it. Is there anything specific that I should know about where to park my car? You have an assigned place in the back of the building with your apartment number on it. Are there any other spots available to me? You will see several visitor and unmarked spots. And these are available on a first-come basis. What if there is nothing else available? You can park on the street, but you have to pay attention to the rules. What are the rules? Most of the laws are posted on the signs, but you also cannot park anywhere on the street between 2 and 6 in the morning. Are the parking tickets expensive around here? Parking tickets are very expensive, and if you don't pay them, they may tow your car away. It's time for you to wake up. Oh, give me five more minutes. I'm really tired this morning. I'm sorry, but it's time for you to get ready for school. I get that, but just let me sleep for a little bit longer. We're not going to get up in five minutes. If I let you fall back asleep, believe me, I will get up and get ready in five minutes. But there's a lot that you need to do this morning. I understand, and it will get done after I wake up in five minutes. I would like for you to not be late for school. I'm going to be on time today. Go back to sleep then, but only five more minutes. Thanks a lot. Where can I park my car? You have what a side place right beside your own apartment. Are there any other open spots available in the parking lot? Your guest could park at a visitor or unmarked spot if what is available. Is there any place else to park if the spots are all gone? There is always street parking, but you must obey the laws about parking out there. Do they post the rules anywhere? The rules for parking are all currently posted. Just follow them and you'll be okay. Do you have to pay a large fine for a parking ticket? You don't want to get a parking ticket. You have better things to spend your money on. Did you go to the auto show yesterday? You mean the car exhibition in the exhibition center? Yeah, it is awesome. Unfortunately, I was quite busy yesterday, so I did not have time for it. Tell me something about it. There were many different kinds of cars of various brands, like BMW, Audi, and QQ. Those big car companies displayed their latest high-tech cars. Sounds interesting. Which car do you like most? I really don't know. They're all great. Actually, I'm planning to buy a car recently. Would you like to come with me? That's great. How about this Sunday? That's a deal. Pasadena Traffic School, how can I help you? I would like to sign up for some classes. What classes do you want to sign up for? I need to take a driver's course. You'll have to make an appointment. What do I need to make an appointment for? 
You need an appointment so you can sign the papers. All right. Can I make an appointment right now? When are you available? Can I make it for tomorrow at 9 a.m.? I can schedule for that day and time. Thanks a lot. I'll be there tomorrow.